this isn't my usual setting for a video on this channel. It's uh, usually a ship of some sort, but I've just finished a 130 kilometer trek uh, up the coast, raising money and awareness for youth suicide prevention. And, and if you'd like to know more about that, I'll put a link in the description, but I'm in the forest. And if you've clicked on this video, you've probably seen the, the thumbnail and realized uh, that uh, I've left the two meta platforms of Facebook and Instagram. I've been with Facebook and Instagram for well over a decade. Um, put a lot of time and effort into those two channels that I uh, had there and met some wonderful people along the way. And if you're one of them and you're still watching my videos, I really do thank you for your support. But uh, the enjoyment of uh, the meta platforms has disappeared in the last two years, mainly because of scammers. This started in 2020 when I was notified by somebody completely out the blue that my pictures, photographs of me on the cruise ships with my books, um, doing videos and all that sort of thing that I posted on Instagram and Facebook were being used by scammers to scam people. And originally it started off with one report and I put in a, uh, a request to have that account taken down with Instagram and they responded, they removed the account and I thought that that was probably the end of it. I was quite naive obviously because more and more people started contacting me to say, hey, we've seen your photographs being used. And the scams changed from uh, scams that ask people to give money to get jobs on cruise ships through to extorting people out of money, claiming that the scammers were sick and dying, all the while using pictures taken from my, pictures stolen from my accounts by these scammers. And uh, in some cases, my, my face photoshopped onto other people's bodies. Um, it's just out of control. It's ridiculous. I would spend hours a week reporting these accounts and uh, initially Facebook and Instagram were really quite good. They would remove them. But over the year of 2020 and into 2021, they stopped responding to my reports. And the last straw really for me was at the beginning of this year when I reported a huge bunch of accounts and was, I was actually blocked by uh, Instagram and Facebook for breaching their community policy by reporting too many fake accounts that were using my photographs on their platform. And I thought that was just ridiculous. If you've got to the point where the people who are being exploited are getting blocked by the platform for reporting scammers using their platform, there's something very wrong with that the way that that organization operates. And so I made the decision just recently to shut down my Instagram and Facebook. And you know, in this day and age, that's a difficult decision to make. It's a, a place where I've connected with lots of wonderful people, but I was finding that the using those platforms was, was affecting me because every time I'd log in or check the platform, I'd have another report from another victim. They'd been scammed and it was just impacting me too much to, to keep receiving all these messages, knowing that Meta, Facebook and Instagram would not take them down. And these accounts have been sitting there exploiting people for, for months. This particular scammer, there's, there's thousands upon thousands of accounts on uh, Instagram and Facebook, hundreds of them using my photographs thousands of them using other people's photographs. There's just so many. And the thing is, Facebook has the ability to allow you to tag your friends automatically because it can identify their faces. Facebook and Instagram know what I look like, and yet they won't use that tremendous power that they have in their technology and in their algorithms to protect the people who make the content on their platforms. If they wanted to, they could remove so many scam accounts, they know how to do that, and yet they won't remove these scam accounts. And so the problem is enormous. My ability to impact it is tiny. My ability to do anything about it is zero because they won't respond to my requests. And so I felt that the only option that I had to preserve my mental well-being uh, was to walk away from those two platforms. So look, I'm not saying I'll never be back if Meta decide at some point that they would like to put ethics first and they change the way that they behave, then perhaps I'll be back if they sell those two platforms to another provider who puts the welfare of their content generators ahead of total number of users that they can report they have on their platform, then I might be back. But as I doubt either of those two things are ever going to happen, this is probably the end of 
my time on those two platforms. Uh, and I will continue, of course, to post on YouTube, which although Alphabet, the owner of Google and YouTube, is by no means perfect, at least they take these sorts of things seriously. If you have a video uploaded to YouTube that's using your content, it will identify it for you and report it to you as a content creator, and you can have it removed. Uh, they, take that, they take that seriously. And of course, you can still find me on the Big Cruise podcast as well. So those will be the places that you can find me officially. If you see me on Instagram or on Facebook, the only accounts on those two platforms that have ever been mine have been on the handle at Chris Cunard. Those two handles I still own. You will not see them reactivated unless I let you know. And of course, anything else is a scammer. So beware, be careful out there, be safe, take care and I'll see you on board.